Have you seen this new product, Tack Life, that's uh, exploded on the scene recently? What do you think of their product? Hey there, njroot22.com here with a little product review, general interest vlog. And today we're talking about the TAC Life product. Uh, I'll tell you right now, I just accidentally bought these, thing on, these things on Amazon. The first thing I bought were these uh, noise uh, reducing earphones for, no, not my kids or my dogs, but uh, for power equipment. And they were cheap and they were pretty good and well made. And then another thing I bought was this, um, battery booster for uh, for your car, your tractors. It's like a little uh, brick that has a nickel uh, metal hydride battery. I think whatever batteries in an electric car. And this thing can start uh, a tractor. Uh, it's become, it was a m completely uh, pr useful because uh, I had a bad battery and I needed to start my tractor. And I've also started a car, jump started a car with this when the tow truck couldn't with their little stupid, you know, whatever those things are, those uh, booster batteries. But this one right here is like 1 50th the size and it, it provided a start needed. And we're also considering, if we ever go camping again, to get one of those battery backup uh, generator things that you can uh, charge your phone a thousand times and, and power lights and so on and so forth. Uh, I'm just wondering, you know, I, I went on the Tac Life page, and you know, first of all, their products seem to be uh, generally well made I, in, for the most part. I mean, I guess better than crap, which everything is these days. Everything is crap, and these things are sort of not crap. I don't know how long they last, or where they'll break one day, all of a sudden, all the seams will fall out, and the thing will fall to shambles. But you know, I, I think this product that I guess is trending some. How I guess they're doing a good job here in America. But if you go on their, their product page on Amazon or their website, and you could tell they're not an American company. And regardless uh, if they are or not, it doesn't really take away or, or give them credit for the products they have. It's just interesting that this product here is standing out. They have good uh, color image, you know, they're orange and black. They have a distinct brand name. You can see their... Uh, their brand is very noticeable, um, or it's an identifiable uh, tech life. What does tech life mean? It, it's it's unreal. I'm just wondering if anybody, you know, thinks this is good stuff. I mean, regardless of where it was made, uh, you can tell it's not made in America. You can just tell. They I don't know why these foreign companies uh, cannot hire an American person to make their their marketing material seem like it's American. Do they just want it to sound bad? I don't know. I really don't know. But we're going to probably buy this backup uh, power generator for a camping trip because it was uh, affordable and it seemed to get uh, good reviews from the people that actually use it. So I don't know. What do you think of this TAC Life company? Is this something that you would allow in a, a country like America when they're having tough times? Should we allow these outside entities come in and take market share from what might otherwise be local companies? Or is it just impossible for a local company to make a high-tech device with lots of electronics in it or what have you? Or I don't know where this was made or who made it in an assembly line. I don't know what their age was or whether they were treated properly, but the, the products seem to be made pretty well. I don't know. It's one of those conundrums of life. If you like the video, please hit the subscribe and the bell and all that other stuff. And we'll talk to you next random video. Thank <laughs> you.